All right, all right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Lang Trading Chat Room. It is April 17th, 2023. Hope you guys had a great weekend and are ready to have another great week of trading. As always, we go something like this. I'm going to start off with the market bias and look at the SPY and the Qs. Determine which way we think the markets are going to head. After that, I'm going to look at the favorites list on the right-hand side of the screen right here. You got long ideas in green. You got the short ideas in red. Once we're done looking at that list, it will be time to start trading. So that's what we're going to do. As always, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns throughout the stream, make sure you throw it up in the chat log. I will get right to it. So with that, let's get going on the markets, guys. Checking out the SPY first off. Uh, flat open. SPY and Q's both. Gapping down uh, slightly, basically a flat open here uh, after that doji day on Friday. So kind of just going into today with a neutral bias, really not uh, favoriting one side or the other too much right now. Uh, with this flat open with the doji day from uh, Friday, we got some uh, resistance at 415 up here, a little bit of support in this 412, 410 area. So uh, and uh, the trend line support as well, right? That 410 spot. So. We'll see if we break the trend line today. We'll see if we continue moving up higher, but kind of a patient wait and see bias to start today. We don't have any news that's going to really shake up the market, so should be good on that front. Uh, Q's though, same sort of thing. Just a flat open essentially. Uh, really strong resistance at 321. Got some support in the 313, 314 area. So just a really neutral bias, guys. We're going to be waiting to see. Uh, whether the SPY breaks out or uh, breaks down. So at the moment, I am leaning towards the bullish side. I do think we could get a breakout on these cues uh, after this nice little consolidation, but uh, we're going to stay patient. I'm not going to rush into anything. We have a, quite a few good long ideas here. We will start off with this first one, TECK, T-E-C-K, uh, gapping up over multiple pivots over that big uh, topping tail from yesterday or Friday. So I really do like this one. It has pretty good pre-market volume. Uh, major, like there's nothing holding back. It might actually be, this might just be an all-time, not an all-time high, but uh, it's a decade high. So highs has been in a decade, so might as well be an all-time high. So keep an eye on this tech. I do like this one quite a bit. Uh, next up, we have BAC, Bank of America. Uh, I don't like this one as much, but I still do like it. Uh, gapping up just a little bit right at that high from yesterday. So if we can get moving, I'd like to see it over thirty dollars. Thirty bucks would be uh, kind of that line in the same where I'd like to get it over that. Has only ten cents for it to get there, so should should be uh, seeing that happen today. So we'll try to find a pattern over that thirty dollar area on the uh, BAC. And as you guys can see in this pre market, it's really where the resistance is at, right at that thirty dollar mark. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, next up is BTU, so a nice little gap here, gapping up over a nice consolidation from a red bar. Uh, it doesn't have any real pivots. Next area of uh, resistance is going to be that pivot right up there at 28.50. It's got about a dollar of room to run, and it does about a dollar a day. So we should have room to trade this up to that 28.50 area. Uh, next up, we have Robox, RBLX, first idea on the short side. So this one's gapping down. Uh, into a little bit of support. So, I mean, this is a nice gap moving under multiple pivots, but it is at a little bit of support. And the market is open, guys. Markets are open. So, back to the list. I got, as always, I always trade the five minute chart. So, got another five minutes or so here. So, uh, but like I was saying, RBLX at a little bit of support. Uh, this trend line is not showing up, it looks like. So, uh, maybe it has room down to this moving average in this pivot at like 38 60 39 bucks but uh, we're going to watch it right at that whole number at 40 right now you can see in the pre-market it's facing up pretty solid there so if we get a breakdown under that 40 dollar area we'll keep an eye on the roblox uh, so next up is google another one gapping down right at resistance so i'm going to need it to break that area at 104.30 uh, before i'm interested there's just too much support there to take it above that spot but underneath it has a pretty nice void, should see you down to like 102-ish. So, uh, and the last idea from the short side is State Street. So this one's gapping down quite a bit actually. So keep an eye on it, a little bit of a big gap at 16%, uh, but it does have room to drop. And 
I mean, it is it is a pretty nice guy. He got been under multiple pivots from a green bar, so keep an eye on the State Street. Just a little bit extended at the moment. Uh, next up, we have Microsoft Long. So Microsoft needs to get over 292. Uh, point blank period. Over 292, I like it. Up until that point, I'm, I'm going to be having a hard time to trade that thing. So now we got Oracle. Another one where it's going to have to get over that whole number at 96 before I'm interested. If it does do that, I mean, it's got a lot of room to run. It's been a very strong stock recently. It had a nice little consolidation correction. So look for a pattern on Oracle over 96. Uh, next up is PLTR, Palantir. Uh, so another one where it's going to need to be over this area at 890, basically uh, $9 pretty much. But this one was doing really good volume in the pre-market. Uh, gapping up a little bit, not really too much, but I uh, figured over that area at like nine bucks has a pretty nice void. Should see some bullishness if we can get up there. And then last but not least on the list is Apple AAPL. So it was looking a lot better in the pre market up at this 166 area right in the last five minutes. Just take a nosedive down to 165. So not as big of a fan of the Apple, but. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it if we can get back up to that 166, probably 167 area. So that is the list. Let's see if we can make some trades on it, y'all. All right, so SPY is just chopping around. And as always, guys, if you have any stocks, cryptos, ETS you're watching, make sure you throw it up in the chat log. I will get right onto that. I take that espresso shot. Forgot about it. Hadn't taken it yet. No, it was cold. Ah, not the best. All right. So tech is moving up pretty big at the moment. BAC is moving up a little bit. It needs to be over 30, though. BTU pulling in. RBLX higher. Google higher. S, uh, State Street higher. Microsoft chopping around. Oracle's looking good, guys. I'm going to watch this Oracle. Watch Oracle over high of the day. Volume is it's doing decent volume. I like to see a little bit more out of it. Uh, Palantir needs work, and Apple does too. So Oracle is probably my top watch at the moment. Like an Oracle the best over ninety six. Honestly, you could definitely take this over high of the day. If this gave it like rested for another ten minutes or so and gave us a five minute three bar play, I would uh, I would be getting into that. So. Keeping on that Oracle over 96, I like it quite a bit. It's top idea right now. Top idea right now, it's Oracle over 96. Uh, tech is moving up quite a bit really, really early. So I'm gonna need a little bit of a rest on this. Don't wanna see it go too much higher. It's gonna be ruining the, uh, the range if it goes any higher here, so. You got a pretty choppy open on the market. It's looking like they're trying to push higher on the SPY and the Qs right here. So we'll see if we can, uh, can't get over this 320 area on the Qs. It's kind of this line in the sand where I'm watching. If we get up over that spot, then it should be a nice little bullish day. But until that happens, it's looking like it might just chop around. Uh, yeah, looking like it could be a little bit of an inside day here at the moment. Very choppy. Very choppy. So RBLX moving up. The short ideas are all kind of going higher at the moment. Uh, as Microsoft is one I want to keep an eye on, but again, I really, really would prefer it to be over 292 before I'm into this thing. If you can get up to this area and give us a good pattern, I like it a lot. But you need to get up there first. Here's Oracle pulling in quite a bit, so we're going to need a little bit more bullishness out of that thing. And then Palantir and Apple are not doing much. So, and you guys have a good weekend, a good time. I had a nice relaxing weekend. Refresh, recharge, get ready for the week ahead. I mean, looking like, I think we're going to have a good week of trading. I do. I, I really do. I think we're going to. I mean, last week was pretty choppy. Just really in this range. It's kind of grinded higher each day. This week, I think we might get a little more direction. I think we're going to either break out of this trend line or uh, break out of this resistance here and move up higher. So, same on the Qs. I think we're either going to break 
313 and bid over this 321, maybe get a little more direction than we had last week. I mean, that was just a chop, man. Look at Monday through Friday, each day was just like, what, like 90% uh, covering the other bar. Like, there's no, no clear direction with that stuff, so. Uh, guys, still watching the Oracle. It's going to need to get a lot better pattern at this point. The three bar play is not there, so you're going to need to wait for like a breakout or something. Microsoft's moving up like we needed to. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, over 292. Watch this. This is my top watch, Microsoft MSFT. Keep an eye on it. I like it a lot. In fact, I'm going to put it on my favorites list because... Uh, BAC and BTU are both looking like junk, so I'm going to throw Microsoft on there, and then I'm going to slide down BTU here. I'm going to update the thumbnail watch list real fast, there we go. So yeah, guys, Microsoft, top watch at the moment, top watch at the moment, need a little bit more out of this thing, I don't, again, I'm really... I mean, I guess it, it is an area where if we get a good pattern on Microsoft, I will be interested. So yeah, keep an eye on it. It's showing some good strength with the market moving up higher. Showing some strength with the market. Guys, State Street is looking really weak. I don't like that. Uh, this one's going to be tough to trade, guys, just because it's already out of range. I'm saying. It's already at... It's like done a, over a dollar more than its range, so it's over like 50% of its average range. It is an earnings gap, so it could just rip roar, but man, you're asking a lot out of that. You're asking a lot out of uh, State Street. With a big gap down, that $65 mark is probably going to be some sort of uh, support it's an area of congestion, so just got to be mindful there. Hey, how's it going, Casey? You're watching JPN today? Check it out. Yeah, I had that big day yesterday. I mean, this thing got me. I uh, had a little ego issue. Ended up taking JPM and got tagged out for like a 0.5 R loss. So, really should not have been in that one last Friday, but took it anyways. Live and learn. So JPM, we're getting in at 1.39. So, we're getting in all the way up here. Stop at 1.36.50. It's a bit of a tight stop. Uh, target 143. So I see where your, your target's in the right area, but this thing is really extended. Like it had a this move up right here is not something to uh, be shy about. That's a seven percent move. So you want it to go an extra five percent before pulling back? I don't know. That's a little bit tough. I could definitely see it pulling back, retesting this 136 area, testing this 50 period moving average before going any higher. So. And some of the other banking stocks are not moving up as much, but I mean, it is it is the strongest one in the sector, so that's you got that going for you. But yeah, a little bit of a tight stop uh, with an extended move higher, so a little bit tough on that JPM there. Um, as the spy and the Qs continue to move up, continue on up. This tech is. Chopping around, BAC is super weak. Microsoft pulling in here. What's Oracle doing? Oracle's pulling in as well, so not looking great there. All right, guys, there's PLTR, guys. PLTR had a nice big pop. So I'm going to put this on my list in place of BAC. So PLTR, guys, over high of the day. Looks good. It's over the area we need it to be. Just need some sort of pattern on this thing, and I will be very excited. Oh my goodness, the volume is immaculate. Guys, PLTR is a top watch. I want in this thing. All I need is a little bit of rest right here. Plenty of range left and doing incredible volume. Good, great void. All we need left is that pattern. This five-minute three-bar play completes itself. I will be in there. Hopefully it doesn't go any higher. You need a little bit of a pullback. You can retest like 880, 885. I'd, I'd be happy there. So probably gonna give it, probably give it the 10 cent stop loss. Honestly, this thing has 20 range. Uh, so give it 10 cents. 
Ah, it's going right here. Son of a bitch. Looks like we're not going to be able to. It's not going to rest for us. So we'll keep an eye on it. This has quite a bit of range left. It does. It has a great average range ratio. So this thing definitely has some big days in it. So we'll keep an eye on the uh, PLTR. Keep an eye on it. What is this range ratio? All right, so watching PLTR, I stand, still am watching Microsoft as well. Not looking as good, but if it, like I said, gets up in that 292 area, I do like it quite a bit. A little still looking mediocre. Apple's chopping around. All right. So no trades just yet. No trades just yet. I really would like to uh, be in this thing. But I only got one minute. One minute was not bad. There it is. Give it the 10 cent stop loss. You're up. Is it 9 cents? Yeah. Almost at that full target. Not a bad idea. All right. Uh, Microsoft pulling in here. Pound to your ripping higher. Markets are kind of putting in. Looks to be a top right here. Putting in some uh, topping tails. Uh, spies rolling over kind of big red bar. Q's are my bad. So a little bit of choppiness so far in this AM. In this AM trading session, you know. Uh, Roblox, Google, State Street. None of them are looking super high. Actually, Google doesn't look too bad. Guys, we can keep an eye on the Google short. Again, I want it to be under 104.34. I want it to be under that area. Uh, yeah, this pattern's not going to be quite there. You can watch it. What would it be? Dollar forty on the stop loss. Mm, I don't know. Keep an eye on the Google. Um, if it retests that 104.50 area, a few, like once or twice more, uh, I may consider getting into that just above that pivot. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the Google short. Wow, Microsoft's really rolling over here. Rolling over with the markets that all the way that low of the day. Wow. So really weak on the Microsoft Oracle chopping around. Uh, Apple looking lower. BAC and BTU just hanging out. So not a whole lot to do with my list right here, guys. It's only 15 minutes into the day, though, so we have plenty of time. Plenty of time to catch a trade. Uh, da, da, da. Look at that PLTR. Was nice. It was nice. All right. Um, all right, I don't see much, guys. I'm going to scan my backup list real fast, see if any of these ideas are looking good at all. Not really. Not for real. Check some of these long ideas. Uh, Tesla is strong, so keep you can watch Tesla. Shopify is not doing too bad. Uber Week, AT&T, Choppy. Zen choppy honey is low volume. PIIB is low volume and fro. So we can watch these first two, uh, Tesla and Shopify. We can watch both of those. Tesla has a lot of this. The reason I didn't have Tesla on my favorites list because it just has a lot of junk, guys. So this one is going to be really hard to trade. You see right up here in this 190 area, there's just a lot. Oops. More there's like was support, was resistance. We got moving averages above and below that. So, a lot of the slop that you're gonna have to fight through on the Tesla. So, not super hot to try on that one. Uh, Shopify doesn't look too bad. I mean, you could, you could take it over a high of the day, like a 35 cent stop loss. It has some range, should have room up to about 48 bucks at least. So, yeah, keep an eye on the Shopify. 35 cents stop loss. We're going to need like just over the 47.50 area. So, yeah, we can watch it. 
We'll watch it. Roblox kind of rolling over at low of the day. So, guys, we can watch Roblox under this 3980 area. It said, should have room to about 39 bucks. Should have room to about 39. So, get this with a 85 cent stops a little bit wide. Now, keep an eye on the Roblox. I don't love it, but it does have a little bit of range left. It is a little kind of weak. Markets are pretty weak, actually. Spies all the way back at low of the day. Our cues are. Spies hanging out. Big red bar. So, I mean, Microsoft is very weak. Wow. Just rolled over. This is why I've got to get over that uh, 292 area before you go long on it. Uh, PLTR is not looking too bad. Keep an eye on this one. Otherwise, I don't see a whole lot. Oracle, Apple. Yeah, Tesla's, like I said, to be tough. Shopify is probably one of the better ideas at the moment. Probably one of the better ideas right now. Uh, like I said, 47.11 by 46.76. So it would be a 31 cent stop loss. Or, my bad, 35 cent stop loss. Yeah, you're going to need that just under that half number. Keep an eye on that thing, guys. I do like this Shopify. It's showing good relative strength as well. Had a big move up. Markets are pulling in. This thing's just hanging out. So, got some good range left. Uh, a little bit of a pivot here at 47.30. It's right in that target area. So, yeah, guys, keep an eye on this Shopify. I really would like to see at least like one more bar of uh, one more bar of consolidation, just because this first big this first move right here was pretty big on the chop. This first move, this first bar was uh, ten times the average bar of one of the other ones. So a little bit of an extended move right off the bat. So a little more rest would not be uh, shown. We'd love to see a little more rest here. So tech moving up a little bit. This one's probably done, guys. There's, it's going to be really tough to trade that. Really going to be tough to trade that. So I'm going to watch Shopify over that. I'm watching Shopify over the tech. Shock. Like I said, 47.11 by 46.76. It's about to complete right here, but just uh, stay patient. All right, I'm gonna get an order ready for this. I'm gonna get my order ready on the shop. Uh, 46.76, 37 cent stop loss. You need 47.46. Okay. Got in a little bit of room, and it's going right here. So we're gonna try and get in with the limit order. We're gonna try. I got my order ready for the limit, so I don't know if it's gonna get. It. I don't know if it's gonna give us that rest. It's already popped. Thirteen cents on the thirty-five cents. So if this thing goes really a couple more pennies higher, I'm probably gonna have to cancel this. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, we just missed it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel that. Shit, missed it, guys. I was filling with my order and watch the trigger without me. All right. Well, Shopify, if you got it, you got it. It's it was a 35 cent stop loss. It's up about 20 cents. So doing a good job so far. Doing a good job so far. Probably would have raised me. If I was in this thing, I would have been raising my stop. Uh, 76. Probably would have gave it, put it up to like 83. Just under that pivot right there. So, would have been raising my stop loss a little bit on that uh, shop. 
You guys, Roblox is looking interesting right here. Under this low, 39.80 by 40.50. We get a little more, 40.55. 75 cent stop loss. Oh, plenty of range there. So, guys, keep it on the Roblox short. Roblox short looking interesting. Oracle's just getting worse. Microsoft's looking very mediocre. We can watch Palantir, PLTR. We need to get a better pattern. This is I don't like this wedge pattern right now. But we can watch that one. BTU moving up a little bit. DAC. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we can watch this Tesla, guys. We can watch Tesla over high of the day. It's not the world's worst idea. You look at this 15-minute chart, and it looks a lot better. Should have room to about 190, maybe 189 is where this kind of pivot starts to come into play. I'd say 189 is definitely going to be an area of resistance. So this would be 188 by dollar 30 on the stop loss, just over that area. So guys, watch Tesla over high today. It's getting a little bit sloppy up here. See the bars are getting a little wider. But keep an eye on the uh, Tesla. And there's Shopify pulling all the way back down. So we could have gotten in with the limit order if we liked it. But like at this point, listen, like if it goes more than like a half an hour, I really don't like to get to leave the order in there. I mean, if it goes a half hour and pulls all the way back, that's not a usually a ton of confidence. Like right here on Shopify, this would have been, would have been biting my nails a little bit. So. That's why I canceled that limit order. I mean, I would have not minded to be in this position still, but it's just after you miss it like that, there's no reason to chase. There's no reason to chase stocks. There's always going to be another trade, so just keep, just move on to the next one. Um, guys, I'm still watching Roblox short. This thing is kind of looking in very interesting. Really wish it was down just a little bit lower. Just all the way down at the low of the day would make me like it a lot more. I'd like that a lot more, but stay patient, no need to rush into this. Like I said, sloppy. No clear direction. Maybe we could break under low of the day and go higher. We could bounce right here and move up or go lower and move up. You guys know what I'm saying. We could go higher or lower. There's really not anything that's indicating to me which way we're going right now in the markets. Kind of made a new a higher high right here on or higher low on the SPY, but really nothing to hang your hat on. I mean, look at the shop rolling over. Expecting a little more strength out of that. Dang. Honestly, though, you look at the one minute, it's really not that big of a deal. Ran up, pulled back. You'd like to see it hold the four, the whole number a little better, but pull back a little bit more. So still got a chance on the Shopify, no doubt. See if we can't pit it right here above uh, VWAP. So yeah, a lot of a lot of slop right now. A whole lot of slop. It's been a tough market the past couple weeks, guys. Really, since the start of April, we have just chopped around. You can see starting right here on this green bar, uh, April 3rd, all the way to today. It's just been a really uh, choppy market. So, not the easiest trading. Not the easiest trading so far in April. But uh, we're still managing, managing pretty well. Following the trading plan, I think I only broke the trading plan a few times here. Let's see, real fast, pull this up. I guess I have, oh wow, four, four plane breaks. Dang, that's not good. Yeah, four times where I broke my plan this month. That's tough. Gotta be doing better than that. Only had one last week, the week before we had three, so. Last week was a pretty quiet week. I only took like five trades. Really did not meet that frequency that I tried to hit. So pretty quiet week there. 
Uh, you know, get Shopify trying to pivot. PLTR is getting choppier. It's holding that 890 area pretty well. Uh, we'll see if we can. I I want to get it over nine. I would feel a lot comfortable over nine. So I'm probably not taking this until it gets there, but. If it pivots and gets the high of the day and gives us some sort of pattern, I will be considering that. We'll be watching it. Microsoft is very weak. Roblox. It's still hanging out, man. Look, at this point, it looks like it's almost going to go higher. Like it's it's bouncing, holding that forty dollar mark like a champion. Like it's holding forty like a pro. Um, don't see much else at the moment. Oracle, Apple. Yeah. Oh, there's the Tesla if you liked it. This was, I, I didn't like this breakout, honestly. If it chopped around for another bar or so, maybe. But this right here, these doji bar, doji bar, topping tail, that's not a clean breakout in my book. Not a clean breakout in my book. So there's Palantir breaking down. I mean, these markets are looking a little bit weak right now. The SPY is super choppy. My goodness, guys. This is tough. This makes for some tough trading. How much to do with it? You're looking at LNTH, Casey? All right, let me check it on out. LNTH. What is this? What kind of company is this? Health Tech? All right. Uh, breaking out, it looks like all time highs or something of the sorts. Got all time highs here. So pretty solid. Uh, shouldn't have anything holding the back. Getting in right up here at 89. Stop loss at 82. So you got a pretty safe stop loss here underneath this uh, pivot area on the hourly chart. I do like that quite a bit. So even if it pulls back, it shouldn't tag you out. I mean, if it tags you out, you're probably going to be. It's probably going to roll over, so I like to stop. Uh, target up into 102. So, yeah, I mean, this is a little bit extended, so maybe it pulled back, retest 84 before getting there, but uh, this is definitely a strong stock. Nice stage two uptrend. You got a safe stop loss uh, for the most part, so yeah, this is a pretty solid trade. Pretty solid there on the LNTH. I do like that one. Man, shop is getting whippy. Whew. If I was in this thing, this would have been kind of a nail biter. Probably would have had my stop raised to uh, 84, 46, 84. So it would have been about a 27. So a little more than 0.8. Probably would have raised it to right here at this point. Got a 0.75 R risk on the shop. If I was in it. There's Roblox moving on up. Moving up. PLTR, man. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. Now they're putting that big bottoming tail. I'm a little bit tempted to just go low of the day on it. Getting in over 894 by low of the day. Is a 16 cent stop loss, so you need 9 10. Uh, it's a little bit aggressive though, getting in right there. I feel like the safer, much safer pivot would be getting in over 8.97. Like an 11 cent stop loss. It's about to go right here, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this one very closely. I might be getting into this uh, PLTR. Yeah, it's going right here, so probably not. I guess. We'll keep an eye on it for high of the day. There's that Shopify. Ooh, uh, popping. Pop, popping. Probably would have been a, a break even at this point. Probably would have just raised the stop to break even. Just limit the risk here. Would have needed uh, just another 10 cents or so on uh, Shopify. So, not bad, man. Not bad. Not too bad. Probably going to be the miss of the day, but it is what it is, man.
missed it, had a chance to get it back, but after that big top and tail, it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same, you know. All right, thanks for the follow, my man, Suzuki, Yasuki. My bad. Yeah, if you have any questions or uh, comments about what I'm doing, how I trade or anything, make sure you ask those questions. Helps out everybody. It helps out you. It helps out me. It helps out other people in the chat room. So if you have a question, make sure you ask it. Microsoft not bouncing too much. Google, State Street, all these ideas are looking pretty uh, mediocre. Guys, BAC, watch Bank of America over that $30 mark. Actually, I mean, I would take it over 29.9. I like over high of the day. I will watch. I'm gonna watch BAC. That's where this pivot's really at here. We could do out this one at 30.02 right here, 30.09, whatever. But uh, that high from Friday, we're gonna we'll keep an eye on that. We'll take it over that area. So we'll watch it. Markets are still chopping around. Very very choppy today. Here's a Tesla. If you like the Teslas, it win. Dollar thirty on stop loss, but win a dollar fifty six. So, not a terrible idea. What's up, Farhad? How you doing, man? How you doing today, man? Look at this buy. I mean, it could could rip over uh, four thirteen, but my goodness, look at it right now, guys. This is so choppy. Super duper choppy. Huge, same sort of thing. Really want to see something, uh, some better price action out of these things. Uh, Tesla's the only thing that I see that would have hit target because Shopify still hasn't gotten there. We're gonna FHI KC. Let's check it out. FHI long at 44. Ooh, this one is a little bit extended. Stop at 41.65. So your stop is right at where the support is at, right where the resistance used to be. It looks like, I mean, it could be support here. I mean, it might just retrace the 50. Ah, that's right at the, Yeah, I don't know, Casey. This one's a little bit tough. I think you could get tagged out of this. I think this could pull back, tag you out, and then rip higher. So you don't need too much. I mean, that's a little bit out of the target. So what is this? Finance. Uh, Looks like it's one of the stronger finance stocks out. We didn't really drop too much with the other banks, but uh, yeah, I think this I think this needs a pullback. It's up quite a few days in a row, quite extended after the breakout. So could retest pull back to this forty two dollar area. Might just tag you out at that forty one sixty five before it rips higher. So uh, just be careful with that one. But it is definitely a strong stock. Definitely has a nice breakout right here. So yeah, good find, but. A little bit tight on the stop loss. My goodness, guys, this market is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. What is this? Shopify is trying to get there. Palantir is very choppy as well, man. Good thing we didn't get into that. I still do like this Roblox. Try to go higher, put in a Big red bar now, so again, I'm, I don't want to over high the low of the day. I mean, so dollar on the stop loss, it's not a bad, it's not a terrible idea. It is going a little past that support, but we'll keep an eye on the Roblox short. Not my favorite idea, but not a bad one either. So there's, there's your two R or one R on Shopify. Man, this one's kind of irking me. Kind of irking my nerves. Could have definitely been in that. Uh, otherwise, let's check out what else we got going on. Roblox, Google, State Street. All right. Um, guys, Bank of America is one I want to watch. We'll keep an eye on this Bank of America, BAC. BAC is a watch. Uh, 
otherwise I don't really see much. The Roblox, like I said, we can watch Roblox RBLX, but uh, it's getting a little bit wide on the stop loss. Not too bad. A dollar of six is what I'd give it. So you are going to need under that $39 mark, which is support. So I'd be mindful of that. But I think by the time we get down to that area, it should be at break even. So it shouldn't be too much of a concern. But uh, yeah, keep an eye on the Roblox. Keep an eye on that thing. Goog hanging out under low of the day. We can watch it. Uh, State Street is not going to be traded, so don't really need to watch that one. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot else right now. Don't see a whole lot else. I mean, look at that Tesla. Sheesh, just popped and dropped. Popped and dropped. Shopify, man. Shopify, 35 cents. It went 36 cents. Just barely got you at Target. And RBLX is probably my top watch at the moment. The markets are looking like they might just break down and go lower. We're getting some big topping tails up here. So if we get under this 412 area, we could drop a little bit. Q's are looking a little bit weaker. There's really not a great void on either of these lower though. And we got quite a bit of uh, support and congestion here, so not sold on the bearishness of uh, this move. The PLTR is still kind of tradable. It's, uh, it's looking a little bit sloppy at the moment, but we can keep an eye on this one. Probably like to see it over high of the day at this point. Give us a pattern over high of the day, I'll be considering it. Microsoft, Roblox. All right. We're watching Wells Fargo far on. Let's check it out. Wells Fargo doesn't look too bad. I like it. Yeah, it's just below that 40 50 area, but that's, that's in a pretty good spot. We're going to keep an eye on this one. The, this one and BAC both. Looking all right. Yeah, they're both at that resistance from yesterday or Friday, whatever it is. So keep an eye on this uh, banking sector. Keep an eye on it. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't even see this. Uh, your, your comment, Suzuki, my bad, Yasuki. Watching you feel like you need to fully invest and trade on this platform. Uh, no, TradingView is great for risk management. TradingView is really good. I I never use Weeble, but heard some not so great things about Weeble. And I mean, TradingView is this, is it. I mean, you can link up. I use TradeStation, but you can link up like a dozen different brokers to this platform. So it is. It is a good platform. I like it a lot. You got all the streams, you got the ideas, you got your economic calendar, like what everything. Everything is right here. You got your stock screener. You can enter your positions right here on the platform with a stop loss and a take profit. Like it's all very simple, very clean. So yeah, if you're not using TradingView, I would recommend using it. It's a very nice platform. Very good. Yeah, you can trade on your phone, so they have a, the app. The app isn't as good. There's a few features that aren't on there, but uh, the app is, I mean, I get all my alerts on my phone. I can move my orders up and stuff on my phone. So it's really, it's pretty simple. If I put like a stop limit order at like, let's say 4040. Let's say we put a stop limit order right here. And on my, so on my phone, all I gotta do is drag this up drag it up then there it is and i can do that just as easily on my phone too so whenever i like a stop loss or take profit or anything i can slide those around very easily so yeah you trade on your phone with this you can do it all that shopify some of gun the thing's gonna irk me man uh 35 cent stop loss it's up 50 cents 
Someone would go in the shop. You dirty dog. You didn't even do anything. This was me. This was me getting in with a late order. I should have been in this thing. I, I'm not mad at myself for not getting in whenever it pulled back. I don't. I, there's nothing wrong about that. But just that initial entry I should have been in there. I should have been in there. This is definitely the strongest stock from my list, and I was that close to being in it. It's like, hmm. I feel like that's that Monday, the Monday slows, Monday blues, you know, kind of a little bit, a little bit laggy on the trigger. I had to uh, maybe watch Tesla. Not the, not the greatest buy setup. It's a really, really big top and tail, so it's kind of tough. Wells Fargo is pulling in. It's kind of putting in a buy setup. Same with BAC. Uh, I'm, I'm just be careful with these buy setups because they're not like if this was breaking out and it was pulling back to the thirty dollar area. It's a different story, but it's still under that resistance, so it's a little bit less uh, bullish, less potent. And again, the markets are not helping any sort of trade at all. It looks like we're trying to break down, maybe. But then again, it's just so choppy this morning, guys. This is a complete inside day. Complete inside day. Let me look at this thing. It's up almost 2R on Shopify. I need to stop looking at it. It does me no good to stare at that thing at this point. <laughs> All right, guys. The PLTR is still looking a little interesting here. Needed to get up over this nine dollar area. If it gives me a pattern over nine bucks, I will really be in, into uh, that. But right now, at the moment, I just don't see it. I just don't don't want it. Yeah, so I'm not seeing a whole lot else, guys. Like I said, watching BAC. I don't like on the buy setup. I'd take it over high of the day though. Oracle pulling in weak, weak. Yeah. Another one, Wells Fargo, not taking on the buy setup. We'll watch it over high of the day. So Let's throw that on my favorite list there. Alright. So only two things really, really moving higher at the moment are shop and pillin or pound tier. PLTR and Shopify. But like I said just a minute ago, I need this over nine bucks. I really don't like that they put in a massive topping tail right at that nine dollar area. So if it gets up here, closes, and shows a little bit of strength, then I'll, I'll watch it. But until that happens, nothing to do with it. Man, I feel like it's been a long morning. I had some decent ideas too, man. The Shopify. The Shopify was the one. That was the one. None of the short ideas are looking too hot at all. Roblox just, like I said, holding that $40 area like a pro. Google's hanging out, holding the support. Uh, State Street was just, it was down a lot. So no surprise that it's bouncing a little bit here. Um, guys, Palantir, here it is. There's, let's see if you can't get going. A little bit tempting over eight ninety nine, but God, that's aggressive. Thirteen cent stop loss. Yeah. If it wasn't putting in that big topping tail, I'd consider it. But that's just menacing. We walked into AI. Up to that AI. I mean, it's moving up on the five minutes. It's like an inside day, though, here on the daily and hourly. So, got a little bit of junk right here. So, on this 15 minute chart, it's kind of in the downtrend as well. So, uh, I'd be careful with the AI. Uh, yeah, it's kind of in a tight little range here. Got some moving averages below. And sure, it doesn't look too big. If it can get under this, like, 2140 area looks decent for sure. It has a little bit of a void down to like 2050. But 
Here's PLTR guys. This is my top watch still. PLTR. Top watch. BAC is getting choppy. Wells Fargo getting a little choppy. Roblox still trying to go lower. I mean, it keeps, it's making higher or lower highs. So, Let's see each time it makes it lower high. It is also making higher lows. So really just a wedge pattern forming right here. So we'll see if it breaks down and breaks out. Marcus still with no clear direction. Oh my gosh, man. This is utter slop. Not even a dollar. We haven't even done a dollar on the spy. We're at 96 cent range. Just chopping around. Q's, at least the Q's have done over a dollar, almost two. Man, the spy is super duper choppy, guys. Super choppy. Shopify is just absolute beast mode. Absolute beast mode. 35 cents, it's up 95 cents. Almost 3R. Yeah, that one minute looks pretty good. Not bad on the one minute. Hmm. We're five uh, buck or nine dollars, my bad. POTR is getting over that nine dollar area. So watch this. Watch it. Spine cues look like they might be trying to move up higher. Not really sold on it. We need to we need to break out of the range. Get over four thirteen or get under like four twelve. One of these two areas we need to break. Shopify running right up into that resistance at 48 bucks. Nice. Palantir. Like I said, this is really going to need to give me another 5 to 10 minutes to get in a breakout up here. So we're going to watch it, but I need, a, I need a better pattern on Palantir. BAC's mid. Uh, Google is moving on up. Like I said, we can still watch the Roblox. I'm not taking it over 40 though. I mean, no way. No way you're taking that over 40. You could tighten up the stop though and use like an 80 cent stop loss at this point. It's giving you a decent little pivot right at 40, 60. We don't see much else, guys. Do a little quick scan of this list. Um, NVIDIA, eh, not, not too great. VA moving on up. As always, whenever I do this scan, guys, the, the two charts I'm looking at right off the bat are the daily chart and the hourly chart. I want to see a void. I want to see, this is why Starbucks isn't a bad idea, because it has an actual void to the left. This is why VA is not a good idea because while it is moving up, it's not in a clear void. There's a lot of moving averages right here, some pivots. So, same with Costco. It's moving on up. It's very strong, but you look at the hourly chart, look at the daily chart. These things are very congested, not a clear, clear void. So, it's the main thing I'm looking for whenever I'm skating. Uh, Starbucks isn't a bad idea. Oh, it's pretty thin though, so not really great there. Uh, PayPal actually is interesting. This PayPal is interesting. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, buy setup down here, but we can keep an eye on it. Over that 77.50 area potentially. I'm going to watch the PayPal. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on PayPal, uh, Palantir, Palantir still hanging out. Uh, if you're putting a breakout right here, I might consider it, guys. Really would have liked it to get 904, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what it does. We still got a little bit of time. We still got another 20 to 25 minutes of trading time, so plenty of time for a pattern to form. BAC as well. Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit 
tough here. You can keep going. We're watching BAC over high of the day. Very cautious with that $30 area, though. Russian Sun Power. Sun Power Corp. Uh, this actually is not a bad idea. Where is it? 1625. Is that your target, I imagine? So, yeah, this is the, that's like the next area of resistance in this $16 area. 25 is at the top of that range, but $16 is a pretty good spot. Uh, you can watch this thing, actually. It's not doing too bad. 31 cents stop. It does have a range concern, but volume is pretty good on it. And. And this pivot's more like 16, so it doesn't really have too much of a pivot holding it back. So yeah, we can actually watch going on that sun power. What are some of these other ones doing? JKS. Actually, this is a little bit of an interesting idea as well here. The Jinkins Jinko Solar. Let's see what Sunrun is up to. See, all the solar stocks are moving up a little bit, so you can keep an eye on the sector real fast. VTNR, these are both uh, ETFs, aren't they? Actually, this one's not. VTNR, I think putting in a wedge pattern here. It's higher, lower highs, higher lows, just kind of wedging around. So, no, I bet this is an oil stock, I believe. So, no, never mind. This is an oil. Yeah, this isn't too bad. It's the weekly chart looking like. Top around a little bit. Uh, and then Boyle, I know Boyle is definitely a uh, yeah, natural gas ETF here. So, yeah, this is a decaying ETF, so you got to be careful swing trading these. But, I mean, it is maybe at a bottom. I don't know. This is a, I try not to trade the uh, natural gas and crude oil too much just because there's some news reports you got to stay on top of and trade those things. But, uh, yeah, especially swing trading, you gotta be careful because these things do just continue to go down over time. But you're watching BAC, Bank of America. Right, for a swing trade, so long over 30. All right, see, I, I, this isn't a bad idea. Stop loss at 28 bucks. So you got a good stop loss. You got some pivots right here. You got some support. Target is up through the 3250 area, so. And the only thing you're going to have to worry about on that target is this 50 period moving average. But uh, for the most part, it's a pretty solid look, look of trade right there. I uh, would be careful because this banking sector has been kind of all over the place recently. And this thing does have earnings tomorrow. So you got earnings tomorrow on BAC. So that could uh, either send the stock up or down depending on how the market reacts to the earnings there. So a little bit of caution, but not a bad idea. I am watching BAC on this uh, five minute chart though. Kind of like a 15 minute breakout as well. So keep an eye on, ooh, is it gonna go right here? Mm, keep an eye on the BAC guys. We want 19, probably 20 cent stop loss. Give it right up to the, uh, just over that $30 mark. We're gonna watch it. I don't love it right here. This is not a great pattern at all, especially being under $30. Uh, I'm going to need to see it at least chop around a little bit more. Give us a better entry. But yeah, watch that BAC. Watch the BAC. A little bit stronger than Wells Fargo. You can see here, Wells Fargo kind of struggling. The BAC is already back at high of the day. So it's got some uh, strength in that sector for sure. PayPal kind of rolling over. Sun Power not doing much. Uh, JKS isn't a bad idea. Over fifty-one dollars should have room to about fifty-one seventy-five. So we can keep an eye on this. What's the volume like? Never mind, guys. Scratch the JKS. Volume is stupid low. Not even a hundred thousand shares, and we're almost an hour into the day. So scratch that. We can watch Sun Run and Sun Power. If you like the solar sector, but it needs a little bit more. Needs a little bit more. Markets are still just stupid choppy. No direction. Still a 96 cent range. Looking like it wants to break out. 
It's over 413. It could go higher. So I would like to get in a long position if possible. Uh, Shopify is done. Camille TR is not a bad idea, guys. This is not a bad idea. It's one of my top watches here. Microsoft's not looking good. BAC ended up breaking out. Honestly, I'm not even mad about that. I'd really prefer a better entry at like 30 bucks. I would prefer, I would be, I mean, there's some issues here, guys. Getting in at 29.90, just under that whole number. Look at the pre-market. Look at that resistance in the pre-market. Like this right here is telling me that there is, this thing is going to get stopped at 30. Like there's going to, something's going to happen at 30. It's going to consolidate one way or another. So I would really prefer to be in over that $30 mark. This thing still has pretty good range too. Over like average days, 90 cents is done 55. So you still got about a third of your range left. So keep an eye on that BAC still. Man, kind of a boring day. Markets have been very choppy. Not a lot of opportunity. You could have snagged the Tesla, but honestly, this is kind of what I expected, except not as big of a topping tip. So I expected just a little bit of a pop here and roll on over. So it did that, but it got it would have got to target. You gave it a dollar thirty, it went a dollar fifty six, so it would have got you there. PayPal's moving on up as well, so I don't know if I really like that too much. He's putting in some good volume here. I'm considering getting into PayPal with a 45 cent stop loss, I mean, that is a great, I probably would, I think the safer spot would be to wait for that uh, 77.50, get in with like a 64 cent stop loss. You need just over high of the day, just over that $78 mark. So it hasn't gotten over 78 in a while. Last time it did, it put in a big topping tail. So there's definitely some sellers up in this area. But I'm going to keep an eye on the PayPal. I'm going to watch PayPal. Put that on my thumbnail list. There we go. All right. So guys, the SPY, it's, it's putting in a little bit of a breakout. Over 4.13.20, we could see a move higher. And it's got the void on the 15 minute chart, that's for sure. Over this area, it could very easily see 4.15. Uh oh, Palantir's pulling in here. So, not what you want to see. BAC's trying to move on up. Doing its darndest. Guys, the Robox is looking interesting here. Keep an eye on Robox. If it under low of the day, if it comes down here and gives us even like one bar of rest, I will get left on here before uh, that will be done for my trading. So we'll see if we can't get some sort of pattern on one of these stocks before then. Because I mean, not a bad sit on hands day when the market's looking like this. Uh, sit on hands is not a bad position to be in, but I mean, I definitely definitely should have got an R out of this Shopify. This was uh, on me. Just just late with the order. This was a really nice breakout pattern. Strong move. Nice void on this hourly chart. So yeah, this one was on me. I should have been in that. But otherwise, I really don't don't mind sitting on hands. Don't mind it at all. Roblox, watching that. Google is not trading. Guys, BAC looking good. I like it. I like the strength it's showing right now. I really, really like the strength on BAC. Did someone just type something and delete it? I, I saw it pop up and go away, so I didn't. I didn't get a chance to read that. Oracle's trying to move up. This is what I was saying with that tech. Well, it's Fargo ready. It's getting right up in that area. This is not still not a bad idea. It is a little bit weaker than the BAC. You can see 
Uh, Bank of America has already broken out of this pivot. So Wells Fargo is lagging just a little bit, but yeah, over high of the day, this is still a very tradable idea. Just below that half number at 4050, but uh, yeah, if you like it, not bad. I would, I personally, I would have to wait for a little bit more rest to take this as a breakout. 32 cent stop loss. So, but yeah, you can keep an eye on the Wells Fargo and the BAC, both from, both from moving on up. Yeah, give me another couple bars on Bank of America and I am in there like swimwear. Mm -mm -mm. Spies continues to move up higher. Spy, like I said, man, Spy looks like it's about to break out right here. I really want to see if I can't get in a long position, man. Should I look at PayPal? That's an aggressive spot to be. 78, we'll put it. It's actually not too bad. Has some range left. Volume is doing good. Guys, keep an eye on that PayPal. PayPal would probably be a 77.33 by, so about a 78 cent stop loss. I'd tighten that up pretty quickly. Yeah, keep an eye on PayPal. No, then again, yeah, just watch it. Really don't love it. Really not a huge fan of it, but uh, keep an eye on it. Probably would prefer the 7750 spot actually. Be a little bit safe, a little bit more confirmation, you know. Looking at the one minute chart, getting in over this pivot. So then the next pivot would be high of the day. And by that point, you should have a safer stop loss. So I'm going to wait for that uh, half number on PayPal. Looking at uh, John Deere, D E. Over one four or four ten. Uh, target up to four ten. I don't know about this. This is in a this is in a downtrend. You can see lower low, lower high, lower low. Uh, it's got to get through that four hundred dollar mark. So it might it's gonna be tough to get all the way back up to that four ten spot. Yeah, looks a little bit tough on the DE. This is definitely a, a downtrending stock. BAC over high of the day. BAC, watch it. 31 cent stop. Ooh, that's right at its range. So I like that. BAC, guys, watch this. I need like one or two more bars right here at $30. And I, I will be in it. Ooh, look at Roblox. Guys, Roblox. 39.81 by. 40.59. Actually, let's go 39.80. 39.80 by 40.60. Eight cent stop loss. So we're gonna need 39 dollars on the dot. Markets are still really chopping around. I do feel like the markets are going higher, so that is one thing I don't like about Roblox. That the market is looking like it's moving up. But this has been a weak stock, still has a good range, doing really good volume. We got the VWAP on our side. Man, if this market was going lower, I'd really like it. But it really hasn't set a direction either way but i'm just i'm leaning towards the uh towards the bullish side the way it's kind of making a higher high or higher low at the moment but, um volume so i'm going over my list right now seeing what i'm missing it is in a position of power mega gap down extreme relative weakness not extreme relative weakness so it's got like one position of power for sure. I'd say one and a half probably. I believe that's the only issue though. 
Color frame bias, gap and down. Alright guys, I am going to put my order in on this thing. Give it a couple pennies here. Alright, so order is in on the Roblox. Roblox short. 39.80 by uh, 4060. It just triggered just now, so we actually we got a better fill. That's a good start to the Roblox, guys. Good start here. So it was an 80 cent stop loss. I'm gonna lower my stop by just a bit right here. About I don't know 40 45. So lower this thing 15 cents. There we go, just above that VWAP. All right, so we are in the Roblox. Off to a decent start. Uh, Spy looks like it's mm, chopping a little bit lower, but no, no clear moves just yet. So Roblox, I mean, I'm gonna put my my uh, target is gonna be just above that whole number as well. It was like it was last week. I think it was on Mara where it hit my target, but it didn't fill me because it was at that whole number. So we're gonna avoid that this week by placing the order above the whole number. All right. So I guess we got in on the right side of the market. We ended up breaking down, so that should help out the Roblox for sure. Qs and Spy both out low of the day. Long ideas kind of struggling up here. RBLX doing a good job still. So our, once we get into this half number at 39.50, I'll probably lower my stop down to 40.20. Uh, be a half hour risk. Be a half hour risk on that. Or maybe just 40.40. Just give it the uh, two quarters of an hour risk. But off to a good start on the Roblox. Off to a good start. I'm not seeing much. Uh, guys, this uh, BAC, I still do like this higher. I Actually, I really like this higher. I'm looking for really any sort of... I'd probably take a buy set up at this point. I'd probably take a buy set up. And the relative strength it's showing right now is really nice. Marcus just put in the widest range red bar we've had, and this one is just hanging out. Just hanging out at high today. So, uh, BAC has some really good relative strength at the moment. Watch that. The Roblox is still kind of hanging out. I want to see it get under this half number and hold it. I want to see it hold the half number. Right now we got, what is it, 15, so. They're at 0.81 R right now. And we're at a 0.8 R risk on a Roblox. 0.8 R. I don't see much else other than the BAC. PLTR kind of rolling over right here. Uh, this would be in a very aggressive buy setup after not breaking out over high of the day. So. And still being under that $9 area, man. This is a spot. This is a heavy spot for sellers right here. Microsoft lower. RBLX is kind of finding the support in that $39.50. So that's what I was worried about. Let's see if we can't get another move lower down to that half or whole number there. Google, State Street. Because, yeah, BAC is looking pretty good still. I'm liking BAC over high of the day for a buy setup. The tech. This is what generally happens whenever these stocks have just massive moves higher and then just they just chop around. There's not a lot of strength left after a move like that. Tesla just rolled over. Impressive. Guys, you can watch Wells Fargo as well. Both from BAC and Wells Fargo both look pretty good. Actually, Wells Fargo is maybe even a little bit better. Because, well, I don't know. They're both they're both looking good. So watch both the BAC and Wells Fargo. Same sector. 
showing really good relative strength at the moment, both at the area where they need to be on the hourly and daily charts. So keep an eye on the banking sector here. This is why we didn't take PayPal. This is exactly why we didn't take PayPal. Would have triggered you in by a penny and would have been rolling over at the moment. So gotta wait for it to get over that VWAP. Looking good here. So I am gonna lower my stop to 40, 40. So now we are at a three quarters of an hour risk. In fact, I might just go down. No, I wanna give it the VWAP is still though. I'm going to hold off for a second. It's looking good though. It's looking like we're going to get there on Roblox. It's looking really nice. Good start to this move. It's been pretty weak all morning. This is a really nice gap. Like I said, should have easy room down to that half, a whole number at 39. So got it on the right side of the market as well. Just in time. It was a pretty well-timed trade. Considering lowering my stop just a little bit more. In fact, I am. I'm going to go just over this VWAP here at uh, 4035. 4035. So, what is that? It was an 80 cent stop loss. Now it is a 55 cent stop loss. See, so yeah, we got 0.69R. That's what we're risking right now. We're risking 0.69R. Come on, RBLX. Need another quarter. One more quarter and we're there. The BAC is still looking good, guys. I still am liking this quite a bit. I mean, the relative strength it's showing right now is immaculate. Just like stellar. Markets have been straight red bars the past uh, 10, 20 minutes. And BAC is just holding solid at the high of the day. So it would probably be, I don't know where the stop loss at on this, how much room we got. We got about 30 cents of range left. I don't know if I want to give it a full 30 cents. I might just give it right to this uh, VWAP at like 25 cents. Maybe give it like 28. So yeah, keep an eye on that uh, BAC right here. Right here, BAC. Don't want to see a trigger at the moment. Look at this one minute. You see how this one minute's extended? We're up two pretty good sized bars here, so it looks like it's going to keep on moving higher. So this is approaching the time where I end my trading as well. So it looks like we're not going to quite get into this BAC, guys. It looks like we're just going to barely miss it. You can, like I said, you can watch Wells Fargo too. This one has a little bit easier of a stop loss. 20 cents. Maybe you get it a little bit more. It's got over 30 cents of range left as well. So you could probably give it 30 to 35 cents if you wanted. So yeah, watch the Roblox. Maybe not the Roblox. The BAC and the Wells Fargo higher. Uh, personally, I'm not going to trade them. It's past my trading time. So I am going to call it a day here in a few minutes. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you can throw it up in the chat log. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day, guys. Just the one trade on RBLX. Just the one trade on RBLX. So, looking pretty good. All we need is another 25 cents out of this, and we will be at full target. So, your NBAC, Casey? Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a strong stock. There is absolutely no denying it. Uh... I just I didn't have a didn't have a full pattern for me. You know I like to wait for my patterns, and uh, this thing is just keep moving up. So uh, not a bad position to be in though. Definitely looking higher, trading into a void over that thirty dollar mark should be good to go. Should be good to go on the BAC, but just not quite my cup of tea. I would I like Wells Fargo a little bit better at this point, honestly. I do. I like Wells Fargo a little bit more. I said, probably just give it a 20, maybe you can give it 25 cents or so. But yeah, Wells Fargo looks pretty good, guys. Wells Fargo and BAC both moving on up. Moving on up. Come on, Roblox. 
and now it's getting to the point where Roblox is like, it's like five bars down, pretty extended. So let's see if a bounce would not be a surprise. I just don't want it to bounce over 40. If it bounces over 40, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. But at the moment, look, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. So uh, yeah, I will update the Discord with how that a Roblox turns out. I'll update where I put my stops at and stuff. But otherwise, I'm going to call it a day here, guys. So appreciate everybody for tuning in, asking some great questions, throwing up some great stocks. So we will be back here tomorrow morning, 925 Eastern Time, doing it all over again. So make sure you guys stop on in, ask some great questions again, and maybe we'll do it again, you know. So uh, with that, I'm going to call it a day in this choppy market. Very, very choppy market. Look at that. $1.26 range. Just complete, utter inside day. Just chop. So, I uh, hope you guys did well today. Didn't jump into anything too early or get yourself down on the week. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you, Suzuki. Yasuki. Sorry, I keep messing your name up. Yasuki. So, yeah, I'll see you guys here tomorrow and take care.